Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Well, you know I'm coaching this team in the tournament this summer, so I thought I will slowly roll out introductions of all the players we have on our team because we could still get votes from you. We are number one in the West and I want to be number one in the country, so keep going over there and voting. First up, we have a guy on our team named Michael Ojo, who played at Lehigh with C.J. McCollum and now plays in Europe. And he's a 6'5 guard. He's going to be a real dominant guy for us. So stay tuned to watch more on our team and get over there and vote. Well, now let's talk about Matthew Delavadova because I understand that Steph Curry is the MVP and people actually like him because he looks like a normal person. He's not 6'10 and dunking over everybody like uh, extremely strong and all that stuff. However, he does have exceptional hand-eye coordination. It sounds like he could be a professional golfer. Whereas a guy like Matthew Delvedova is certainly much more like the common man than anybody else. And what he's getting by with is his hard work and effort. And let's make it clear, he is not a dirty player. It's not dirty by clinching a guy's foot and playing you know, that little mind game with Taj Gibson. It's not dirty when you dive for a ball and another guy dives for the ball. They bump into each other. And it's certainly not dirty when you get yanked down and then you get slammed in the, uh, with, with an elbow in the back. So let's get that cleared up right now. What he is is a really hard worker and maximizes his abilities. And it's amazing to watch at the biggest stage of the NBA Finals a player all the way from Australia playing this way and essentially outplaying the MVP of the league. Let's start out looking at Matthew Delvedova's defense since it was stellar all night while guarding the reigning MVP of the league. Watch how he can be legally physical off these screens making even a routine catch into an adventure for Steph. He's relentless in his pursuit and is blowing up the Warriors' rhythm. Even on the weak side, his discipline to stay aware of Curry is unparalleled and his communication has been instrumental in getting teammates in the right spots. This deflection of the pass, then forcing Curry into a shot fake and dribble, are all things that don't show up in the box score. You can see how he's not worried about playing help defense, nor should he be, since the moment you lose vision of Curry, you're dead. And it's his ability to stay in position and keep Curry in front, which is the chief reason Steph is shooting so poorly in the finals thus far. Rather than run him off of pick and rolls, the Warriors opted to get Curry off ball more often than usual, and this played right into Delhi's hands. As the Warriors break into the loop, Watch Delavidova's effort to shoot the gap and deny Curry the ball. Forcing the Warriors into so many secondary actions is clearly frustrating both the offense and the players. That said, it wasn't all fun and games, as Steph catches him in the open court and does a number on him when Delhi thought Thompson would be sliding down to help contain. Just watch how relentless he is as he fights around the bogut screen, falls down, but still gets up to try and contest this shot. While it's technically open, with Steph already being flustered and out of rhythm, it has to help force this miss. Let's switch to his offense, where the effect is less profound, but sneaky good. On this weak side fill, as the pass arrives, he has already spotted Mozgov sealing his man and makes this pass on target with perfect timing, earning him the assist. But he balanced some of that goodness out with an ill-advised lob attempt that should have just been a simple bounce pass to the roll man. In the second half, the Cavs started running a lot of the same actions over and over, like setting a pin down for Delhi, then pitching it to him into a ball screen. This action got him open to the hoop almost every time, but on the floater, watch how his fellow countryman Andrew Bogut slams his hip into him on the landing. This easily should have been a foul, and it seems clear Delvedova got the wind knocked out of him. But he's tough, doesn't stay down for long, and is right back in the play. Not even a minute later, he's all over Curry again, taking away his cut, chasing him around screens, and his hustle to double forces a pass to Bogut, precisely what the Cavs wanted. They can foul him and put him on the free throw line. At the end of the third, the Cavs let him run the show and he makes a poor decision to get up in the air and throw a pass that gets easily tipped. But, after the embarrassing Spates missed dunk, which one could argue eventually cost them the game, notice how it's Delhi who hustles back to get the rebound, and probably should have gotten free throws in this play as well. Here's where Delhi shook loose out of horns, where he gets the pin down, into dribble pitch, into ball screen. 
He turns the corner on Livingston and uses the off-footed floater to catch Bogut off guard. Delhi isn't afraid to rotate onto a big man either. Whatever the situation demands, he does. The offense begins to break the defense down. Delhi is forced to rotate onto Bogut and he's able to get the call on Bogut, which negates a dunk and gives the Warriors another team foul. The Cavs again run horns for Delhi, and out of the same action, Livingston goes under the last ball screen. He remains calm, calls for another ball screen out top, and hits the same off-footed runner again before Bogut can even react. Again, he wasn't perfect offensively, but his stellar defense earned him a few bad possessions, as he drives in too deep right at the runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year. As we got into crunch time, Del Vidova kept making crucial plays. The game plan for the Cavs is to get a switch of Curry onto LeBron with the pick and roll. When they get it, Delhi pops to the open area on the three-point arc and hits the crucial tray. With the Cavs nursing a two-point lead, just watch how Delhi is forced to switch onto the much bigger Draymond Green, then proceeds to mix it up as he rolls to the hoop. Watch as he gives a subtle show to Harrison Barnes, who opts to pull up. And then the box out underneath in the ensuing scrum for the ball, and who comes up with it? Moving to overtime, Cleveland is up 5 and does not want to give up a 3 under any circumstances. He shoots the gap on the high side, normally a surefire open shot for Steph, but his pursuit gets in there just in time to force a pump fake. With no rhythm, Steph takes the shot, and Delhi is still there to pressure him from behind. But the real magic in this play is his ability to grab this rebound as he's falling out of bounds and hit a teammate under the Warriors basket, something that he saw he could do safely, preserving the possession for the Cavs. He gets mixed up with Draymond Green again, and while Green scores eventually, I love Delhi's toughness as he won't get back down to the front of the rim, forcing the first miss. Down one with the clock winding down, he spots up on the left side, and when he doesn't get the shot, he doesn't just stand there or sulk because the ball doesn't come to him. He sprints to the rim and not only gets the rebound, but attempts to tip it in, getting hammered in the process and getting the two free throws that end up winning this game. And if that weren't enough, having to defend Steph Curry up only one, the Warriors foolishly don't run Curry off of any type of screen. In fact, Curry was supposed to set one, but it was poorly conceived and executed. So that left Delvinova free reign to defend Curry. He cuts him off perfectly, rises up to contest, and Curry misses wildly, preserving the win.